Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at a simple ex example to compute the expectation and variance of random variables. So let us look at the problem that we are going to study here. Let x1 and x2 be two independent random variables with means 2 and 3 respectively. Let the variance of x1 and x2 be 5 and 4 respectively. We are considering a new random variable y which is given as x1 plus x2. Now mean and expectation mean the same thing so we are going to first find the expectation or mean of y. That's the first question. Now to find the expectation of y, we can write it in this form. That is expectation of y equals expectation of x1 plus x2. We are just substituting y equals x1 plus x2. Now expectation can pass through a summation. So this will be simplified to expectation of x1 plus expectation of x2. And we will just substitute the values of expectation of x1, which is 2, and expectation of x2, which is 3, to get 2 plus 3, which is 5. Now, this is fairly straightforward and simple. Now, the second question is how to find the variance of y. This is slightly more challenging, and we will begin with from first principles. Now, variance of y is given by this form. This is expectation of y square minus expectation square of y. Now, expectation of y it came out to be 5, which we just saw. So, e square y is going to evaluate to 5 square, which is 25. So, we can write this as e of y square minus 25. So, the next task will be to find out expectation of y square. So, to do that, we'll just expand expectation of y square. So we'll first substitute expectation of y square with basically x1 plus x2 square minus 25. Okay, now x1 plus x2 whole square will evaluate to x1 square plus x2 square plus 2 x1, x2, minus 25. And we can write this as expectation of x1 square plus expectation of x2 square plus 2 times expectation of x1, x2 minus 25. Now, and we can do this because we can pass the expectation through a summation. Now, at this stage, we have to compute these various things. That is expectation of x1 square plus expectation of x2 square and plus 2 times expectation of x1 x2. Note that the 2 came out of the expectation because 2 is a constant and we only take expectation of random variables and expectation of a constant is the constant itself. Now how can we find expectation of x1 square? To do that what we have to recall and I'm going to write here is variance of x1 can be written as expectation of x1 square minus expectation square of x1. Now if you go back to the question, we will see that the, the variance of x1 and x2 is given as 5 and 4 respectively. So variance of x1 is given as 5. And we know that the, the expectation of x1 is 2 from the question itself. So this is going to be x1 square minus 2 square, which is going to be 4. So if we, by transposing, we will get expectation of x1 square as 9. Okay, now following the same logic, we will get variance of x2 equals to expectation of x2 square 
minus expectation square of x2. Now, variance of x2 is given as 4 and its mean is given as 3. So this will be 4 equals expectation of x2 square minus 3 square. This will evaluate 2 to 13. So expectation of x2 square evaluate to 13. Okay. This is gotten by using these four values that are given up there. Okay. So now we have we can come back to our original problem, which is variance of y. Now we can substitute the values of expectation x1 square and x2 square, which is 2, 3, or sorry, 9 and 13. And we'll have two times expectation of x1 and x2, which we'll still have to compute. And there is minus 25. Okay, so how do we compute expectation of x1 and x2? Now let's go back to the question here. The question says that these are independent random variables. Now, because the random variables are independent, that is x1 and x2 is independent, what we can do is we can write expectation of, of x1 and x2 as expectation of x1 times expectation of x2. So 9 plus 13 plus 2 times expectation of x1 times expectation of x2. This is because the random variables are independent. And we're going to substitute the values of expectation of x1 and expectation of x2, which is 2 and 3. So this is going to evaluate to 9 plus 13 plus 2 times times 2 times 3 minus 25, which will be 9 plus 13, 4 plus 12 minus 20. Okay, and with that, we'll get the answer as 9. So the variance of y will evaluate to 9 in this case. With this, I'll conclude this video. Hope this video helps you understand how to compute the expectation and variance of random variables. Thank you for watching.